Um, in short, this was pasture that was um, used as continuous grazing and maybe not necessarily managed in, in methods that um, promote increase and improve productivity and efficiency. Um, so within our regenerative agriculture project, uh, we looked at um, different methods um, that would rejuvenate the land. And why we looked at this is there are known methods to rejuvenate land, but they haven't been well researched um, and nor are they uh, readily available for producers to access in terms of results and, and what has been done. Uh, we started off the year with base measurements uh, of what we're going to be evaluating, so soil health, uh, soil nutrients, forage health assessments, uh, forage productivity, so forage biomass, um, as well as the starting weight on the cattle we had down there. Uh, within the, the project itself, we had uh, a couple different demonstrations. The first one was a simple side-by-side -side comparison of rotational grazing versus continuous grazing. Uh, these cattle and these two different uh, grazing management strategies were both on a forage blend of fall rye and sweet clover. Uh, the rotational group uh, obviously grazed through different paddocks, uh, approximately three acres in size, um, anywhere from 24 to 48 hour rotations, uh, in what we would consider a moderately intensive rotational grazing system. Uh, the other group of cattle uh, just had access to 24 acres and a continuous grazing system. My job in this was to then fly with a drone and a multi-spectral camera. We wanted to fly just before the cattle got moved to a new paddock. So that way we can see in the new paddock that they're gonna be moved to, we can see exactly um, the amount of biomass that, that is there. Um, and then we can, because they're moving out of another one, then the next time we fly, we can see how that one that they got moved out of uh, regenerates. It's actually very, very interesting to, to get that perspective from above of the entire operation. You can, even on the open grazing pasture, uh, you can see, um, you know, where the areas that, that they favored. Because I did three flights, then I lined those three different photos up, and that's how we can do the change detection. We've got three layers then uh, from the three different flights, and we can analyze what's called the normalized difference vegetation index. We can analyze that and uh, look at the difference then, whether um, you know, a section of the pasture has actually uh, increased in biomass or decreased in biomass, or whether it stayed neutral, all of those can be uh, detected. Uh, in addition to the simple grazing side-by-side -side comparison, we also employed uh, several different remote monitoring technologies. Um, for example, the AllFlex Sensor Hub system, which consists of cow management's ear tags, which will give us uh, daily activity, so ruminating versus grazing, and even a prediction of estrus and uh, potential adverse health effects, uh, as well as a fence energizer sensor, which would give us alerts if our fence ever went down or had a, a short, uh, and a water level sensor, which would uh, give us an alert if the water ever dropped below or wasn't replenished in the, the trough system. As part of the regenerative agriculture focus, um, we also uh, incorporated a, uh, what's considered a more sustainable um, riparian exclusion model, where we had a creek running through the, the quarter and uh, used curvilinear electric fencing to exclude that creek, uh, all in an effort to uh, improve and maintain riparian health. And so this has several benefits, uh, some of them including uh, increased biodiversity, uh, increased plant health, uh, reduced soil erosion, and uh, reduced contamination of water sources by animals either defecating or just simply being in the water. Um, and tied in with this was our remote watering technology where we had a solar powered uh, water pumping station set up at a, a dugout which is also excluded pumping water through uh, above ground pipelines to several different troughs located on the quarter.